What's up you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I wanna go over a couple of special case linear inequalities that you might come across where you're gonna either have all real solutions or no solutions at all for your inequality. All right, so let's start with this one. So we have 6h minus six plus two h is less than two times in parentheses four h plus three. Okay, so the first thing we wanna do here is just combine like terms. All right, so first of all, we have six h plus two h, that's equal to eight h. All right, and then we have this minus six, right? And then we have the less than. And then here, uh, again, we could divide this whole side by two and this whole side by two because two divides evenly into all these numbers. But I'm going to go the other direction this time and just distribute it. Okay, so we're gonna do two times four h, so that's equal to eight h, and two times three is equal to six, positive six, right? Okay, so this is what we're left with. And now you're gonna see something kind of crazy happen. So again, we wanna combine like terms, right? So let's move all the h's to the left side. So here we have positive 8h, so to move it to the other side, we're going to subtract 8h and subtract 8h from there. Okay, so over here they cancel out, but over here, as you can see, they also cancel out, right? 8h minus 8h is just equal to zero. So then we're just left with negative six is less than positive six, all right? Now, is this a true statement? Is negative six less than, or in other words, is negative six smaller than positive six? Yes, this is a true statement, right? So that means all real numbers are solutions, okay? All real uh, numbers are solutions, solutions, right? So that means if you tried to graph this, or first of all, that means if you plugged in any real number into this equation up here, they would all work, okay? You could plug in five, 10, 20, 100, zero, negative 69, 420, whatever. Any real number that you plug into these, um, into the H's over here would produce a true statement, okay? Now, if you wanted to graph this crazy contraption, again, we're saying all real numbers are solutions. So that means all real numbers between negative infinity and infinity are solutions, okay? So if you wanted to shade something in, you would literally shade in the entire number line because all the numbers on this number line would work as solutions, again, for this equation, okay? And if you wanted to write that in interval notation, well, it would just be, we're going from negative infinity to positive infinity. Okay, so last problem. Here we have 8b minus three is greater than four times in parentheses 2b plus three, okay? So again, first thing we wanna do is just simplify our equation up here. So here, again, we have the option of dividing this whole side by four and this side by four, or we could distribute, okay? In this case, again, we're going to distribute because if you see something, if I divide both sides by four, well, four doesn't divide evenly into three, right? It divides evenly into eight, but not three, so I don't wanna to have to deal with fractions if I don't have to. So let's distribute, that'll be easy. So on this side, uh, four times two B, that's gonna be equal to eight B, right? And then four times three is equal to positive 12, right? Then our symbol right here stays the same, and then here we have eight B minus three, okay? Now, again, we're gonna see something a little crazy. So uh, moving all the b's to one side, let's move them to the left side. Here we have positive 8b, so we're gonna subtract 8b from this side and from this side, right? So over here they cancel out, and again over here they happen to cancel out, all right? So then we're just left with uh, negative three right here, right? Negative three is greater than positive 12. Okay, is this a true solution? is negative three bigger than positive 12? No, it's not, right? This is a false solution, okay? So that means there are no real solutions, okay? So that means no matter what real number we can come up with, when we plug it in here to this equation, it won't work. It will not make this statement true, okay? So if you wanted to graph that, from negative infinity to positive infinity, well, we won't actually graph anything because again, there's no number on this number line that would work in this equation, okay? So there would just simply be no real solutions. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. 
And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below. Also, there's a couple playlists attached that I think you'll find helpful. So definitely check those out and I'll see you there.